two things about that. One, what I love about your target story is those 17 years, you don't look at them as wasted years because they're not identical to what you're doing now. Mm -hmm. You're looking at that as, mm -hmm. hey, that laid the foundation. And for people that are listening, mm -hmm. you might be doing something that you don't feel called to do. Yes. But you're learning things. Yes. You're building your network in yes. a way so that whenever you figure out how to get involved yes. with what you really feel born to do, yes. it comes back around. That is the truth. You know? um, the, the second thing I wanted to talk about, too, is, is this idea of sharing the, the vulnerable parts. Mm -hmm. I think about whenever I'm at the theater, and, and you know they always have the previews before mm -hmm. the movie, and and they always start off like everybody's happy, mm -hmm. the music is happy, everybody's happy, and, and, and what are you bored, yep. completely bored, just mm -hmm. sitting back, and, and then you know the music gets a little mm -hmm. onerous, mm -hmm. and, and and you know something's wrong. Mm -hmm. That's when you get interested. That's yes. when the real story begins. Like yes. you don't have a story mm -hmm. until you have a moment where something's gone wrong. That is exactly right. And I think it's easy to get insecure about that and say, well. Nobody wants to hear my talk mm -hmm. or my story mm -hmm. because I got all these bad mm -hmm. parts, but you're, mm -hmm. you learn to embrace that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to. And something you said um, at the end of my, my, my talk last week, I, I laid out some, some things in life that I've learned. And I think it's interesting that you say, just because you're not in a job that you don't feel called to, or you're not excited about, or you're not passionate about, I always tell my kids, do what you have to until you can do what you want to. And I think it's important mm -hmm. to do everything with excellence. And I always tell them, if you're gonna be a garbage man, be the best freaking garbage man ever. If you're gonna be a post postal worker, be the best postal worker ever. You're gonna be a CEO, an EVP, whatever it is you're called to, you gotta do it with excellence because we don't get the value of hindsight in our 20s, right? We don't get the value of it in our 30s. You really never get it. As you get older, you get more wise. And so you can realize that there's a reason for things. But I think when you do what you have to, then you get into these situations, right? Where number one, your discipline is being tested. Yeah. Your accountability is being tested. Your work ethic is being tested. Because I'm gonna tell you guys, the entrepreneur journey is a very difficult one, right? Mm -hmm. And when I find myself at the store and I'm overwhelmed, or I'm like, goodness, I gotta scrub grout, or I gotta mop the floor, or I'm washing dishes, I do all of those things. I am intertwined into the fabric of everyday operations because I think you have to be then I can remind myself what it took to get here, right? So if you've never been tested working for someone else, then it is sometimes difficult to maintain the mental toughness it takes working for yourself. Because working for yourself, you can just quit, right? The pop bar only goes because we go. Target's gonna continue with or without Sherelle because the infrastructure is built. I am building infrastructure so that it can go without me one day. We're just far from that day. And so I think my challenge is like, do that job, man. Take the job, learn the lesson, understand that everything is a building block and a stepping stone to the next one. Don't miss a critical step because you feel like you're above something. Do it. Mm. Dime swallowing mm -hmm. out of the sky every time you talk.